Welcome back everyone, it's Abdallah here with another exciting episode of Yokai Watch Blasters. Today's episode is all about Panda Noko, the single most rare yokai in all of existence, in all the Yokai Watch games. We've got him, and in this episode we're going to show you guys everything you need to know about him. Oh, it's going to be so much fun, and plus, we've got a pretty cool touch trade giveaway of a Panda Noko that we're going to be doing, and I'm very excited for it. So, stick around to the end of the episode and I'll tell you all the details on it. All right, so historically, Pandanoko, hardest yokai to get, right? What we're gonna be doing in this video is I'm gonna go over all of Pandanoko's stats and moves. We're gonna show you exactly how strong Pandanoko is. We'll go into battle and show him off. We'll also tell you guys a little bit of how to befriend him, right? I'll give you some recommendations on different yokai that you guys can use. I'll show you guys a little tip about auras. We'll also go into a Wayfarer battle so I can show you guys that. We'll show you guys the exclusive screenshots of what the after cutscene uh, looks like when you befriend him. We'll also do sorcery. I'm gonna turn Pandanoko into a soul and I'll give you guys a secret recipe for sorcery that Pandanoko is a part of. And then of course, at the end of the episode, I will give you guys information on how we're gonna give away a Pandanoko as a touch trade. All right, that was a lot to cover, so sit tight, let's get this going. All right, for starters, let's talk about Pandanoko stats, yeah? Here we go. So Pandanoko, oh my gosh, this dude, this guy's in. Okay, so for science, I was able to get a Pandanoko from my uh, from a friend, Marzi reached out to me, had one, and I said, hey, you know what? Hook it up, let's do it. So we got this Pandanoko for a Permatrade, awesome. We're doing it for science. So you can see over here, HP 407, if you have a Yokai that has over 400 HP, that's pretty bulky, so that's very good. Strength, you're really not gonna be using your strength set as a healer. Spirit, 214, and defense, 190. That's pretty split defenses, so that's a really, really good attribute of a healer. A spirit stat to give you guys a, a lot more healing every time Pandanoko does heal. And of course a defensive stat to, in case you get hit by a move, you can survive a little bit better. Speed is fast, so you can be zipping around. Of course, check out the skill. G orbs appear more often. So it's kind of like Pandanoko in Historically, where Wisps would appear more often. So very, very good. Uh, you've got access to Paradise, which is uh, the best. Uh, I would say, like, single healing attack that you can get. Uh, it gives a lot of uh, HP for that one. You've got super healing in spirit, which is also one of arguably the best ones, because you can inspirit someone with a, a healing in spirit. So, like, every second you'll recover, like, 50 or some odd HP. So that's absolutely really good. Panda Smile, in case, you know, the going gets tough, everyone gets hit by one attack from a big boss, you can use that, and then you're going to recover a lot of HP for your allies. And, of course, strikes foes nearby. Uh, let's also take a look at the other moves that Pandanoko has. You have Circle Restore. So Circle Restore is also pretty decent. I mean, you can. You can switch out Super Healing in Spirit if you don't like the cooldown on that one. But of course, Circle Restore is also, also a viable option. So Pandanoko unfortunately doesn't have four moves, so that's kind of lame. Alright, so that is, uh, yeah, that's Pandanoko in a nutshell. Let's go into a quick battle. We'll go beat up Goldie for a little bit. Um, and I'll show you guys Pandanoko in action while we do that. So let's not go to story, let's go to big bosses. Uh, we'll go to Goldie, or sorry, we'll go to Gutsy, and we'll go knock him out. We won't do the whole battle, I just want to showcase what Pan Pandanoko looks like in battle, because he's actually really cool. And arguably, I would bring him into battle over Elder Bloom. I think I would equip Pandanoko with an Elder Bloom soul. So that revives go a little bit quicker. So you can just see um, how fast Pandanoko goes. He's like zipping around, so that's really great. Uh, you can see over here the uh, the in spirit. I can go and talk to yeah. I can go do this on. Oh, I can do it on myself. Here, check this out. So this is a super uh, in spirit, the super healing in spirit. I don't necessarily need it, but you guys can see over here that uh, I'm getting a little bit of HP back every single time. So that's pretty decent. Uh, we have just your regular old paradise where I can give that to, I don't know, give it to me. Let me get hit by something, and I'll give it to me. So it's the same thing, 84. I mean, I didn't equip any items on Pandanoko, so you guys can see that these are just simply base stats. And, uh, yeah, you can also see that you can just chomp. You can chomp away in the event that there's an open spot, you can chomp. And the cooldown for each of the chomps really isn't that bad, so... Pandanoko could do work if needed, so... Yeah, there we go. Awesome. I think that was great. I'm just gonna hit this booty prize and, and uh, knock him out. Oh, boom! Okay, excellent. Okay, so that's Pandanoko inside a battle. Pretty great, I would say, top tier healer because of his ability. Simply because of his ability to get more great orbs that appear on screen. Alright, so now that we've done that, uh, I'm gonna show you guys exactly which yokai you want to bring in battle in order to help you befriend Pandanoko. 
So as you guys can see over here, if you go to the Wayfarer Coliseum and you have street passes, um, on the Wayfarer bulletin board, there's gonna be a picture of a panda, like a digital picture of Panda Noko. Then you know that Panda Noko is there. So you need to be very careful and make sure because you'll probably only have one shot at it. If you're lucky, you'll get a couple more Panda Noko through Street Pass. So anyway, let's go talk about some different yokai that we can use in order to get you guys all set up. So I'm gonna go to Happy Air. And uh, we're gonna show you guys some um, some move out members that I have floating around. So we're gonna do this. Actually, you know what? I've got all the yokai on my team. Check it out. Okay, so you want befriending yokai. Yokai with the skill popularity. There's five of them in the game. Very, very simple to get some of them, uh, especially Shmoopy and Cupistal. So Shmoopy, very easy to get. Cupistal, very easy to get. You can get their evolution items, which is the Love Scepter and of course the um, Love Buster. You can get those items through boss drops. And then if you evolve them, they'll be stronger versions, okay? And of course, if you have the legendary Dan Doodle, you guys can see my legendary tips and tricks tutorial video, link in the description below. He's also very good, arguably the best popularity yokai. So yeah, I like him a lot. He's got very, very good stats and he's just overall a great yokai. So if you have yourself with any of these yokai, you'll be set. If you guys don't have any of these yokai or you guys wanna take it a next step further, uh, there's no definitive proof if popularity stacks or not, but you're honestly gonna tell me that you're gonna go into a once in a lifetime Panda Noko without bringing all your popularity yokai and your superstar soul. No, you're not gonna do that. You are going to do this though. So, Superstar Soul simply by grabbing the soul of Pinkie Poo, the soul of uh, Casanova, and then fusing those together for a Superstar Soul, which gives you the popularity, uh, pretty much ability, which also will help out, okay? So those are uh, six ways of doing it. I'm gonna give you guys the seventh and eighth ways of making sure that Pandanoko is befriended, okay? There is a, there's another way, and if you guys are exclusive to Red Cat Core, you have access to it. So let's take a look. So we're gonna go over to the Meow Mart. This is the area where you can use all of your insignia. If you get insignia simply by battling uh, online with people, if you battle with someone on the same team as you, you'll get 10 points per person. If you beat Swirliest Oh My, Red Paws, you'll get 100 points bonus. And of course, if you do a street pass battle, you get 30 insignia. So that's really how you get insignia in the game, just playing online. So uh, you'll notice over here that there is a popularity aura. As of right now, it's bugged in the game. I've already let level five know they're working on fixing it. Uh, but ultimately, if you cooperated with Red Cat Core 30 times, you get a popularity aura that you can use on your yokai team in order to maximize befriending chances. But like I said right now, it's currently broken in all versions of the game. Hopefully it gets patched sometime soon. Okay, uh, the next one is going to be Friend Finder. Okay, this one actually works. I don't have access to it because I have not cooperated with Red Cat Core 300 times, but this one is a 100% drop. The first yokai you defeat in a mission will definitely become your friend. Keep that in mind. So, uh, with Pandanoko's battle, once you go into battle, battle with Pandanoko, he's the only one that can be befriended. So your recipe for success is using Friend Finder. Okay, if you don't, if you haven't moved out with uh, 300 people, because that's a lot of battles. Trust me, it is. I'm where am I at? Let's look. I'm at 156. I'm halfway there. Times cooperate with Red Cat, 156, okay? That's that's still a lot, but it's not near enough. So if you have Pandanoko in your Wayfarer Manor, you need to make sure that you do not go into that battle unless you've done 300 battles and have that definite friend finder. Or you can try your luck with all these befriending yokai. Either or. It's up to you. Okay, so you guys might be wondering, how do you get Pandanoko in your manor, right? How do you do that? Well, it's relatively hard because there's a lot of luck involved and it's all about street pass. And historically with Pandanoko, it's not a, hey, I, Pandanoko showed up in mine. I have Pandanoko on my game. If I street pass you, you're gonna get Pandanoko. That's not how it works at all. There's just a small percentage of a chance that he'll randomly show up with any street passes. So my tips to you guys is, if you guys have another Nintendo 3DS and another copy of Yokai Watch Blasters, it doesn't matter, Red Cat Core, White Dog Squad, it doesn't matter. But what you want to do is you want to make sure that you have three files. Three files with three Wayfarer battles ready to go, Street Pass activated, so that every you know couple of hours, I don't know if it's like six hours or something like that where you can Street Pass again, uh, every six hours like that, you can get three teams that show up and you'll have three chances of doing that. So as you guys can see on mine right over here, uh, if I look at Red Cat Notebook, 
uh, go to contact page. You can see how many street passes I got. Uh, street passes with white dog, 46 of them. So I've been doing this like pretty much every day. Uh, I've got a lot of them. So once you get a street pass with someone, you know, you'll see the little green light show up. Head on over to Wayfair. Uh, you can click on update street pass on the bottom screen over here by pressing X. It'll update the latest teams to see if you got any street passes. And then of course you could just go into battle, which is great. And then you can pick and choose who you want to battle. So I'll show you guys a quick battle of what a street pass is like uh, so that you guys can understand. And when you do have Pandanoko, he will be a red icon. All of these icons over here are black icons, meaning you cannot befriend every single one of these guys. So yeah, keep that in mind. And then of course, when you want to come on board, you want to be strong enough because you don't want to lose the battle. Dude, if you lose the battle against Pandanoko, good luck, man. Good luck. So bring your strongest yokai, because every time you do one of these Wayfarer battles, the game saves. So there's no way of resetting it. It saves, just like the Krankakai. So if you miss, it's over. It's absolutely over. Okay. So that's exactly how you do it. Pretend that those guys were uh, Pandanoko. And if you do get Pandanoko, I do want to show you guys that uh, Panda... Panda is pretty crazy. All right, so I got some photos over here. I'll show you guys. All right, so after you do the Pandanoko battle, he'll do the, the exact same, like, friend circle thing. If he drops right in screen, you know, you press the B button accordingly, accordingly. And then uh, I got these screenshots over here of what the Pandanoko cutscene looks like afterwards. I've been uh, wandering around a lot, but... Dun, dun, dun. Uh, you're the best. From now on, I'll be sticking with you. And then, boom, you get Pandanoko. That's, that's exactly how that works. So that's pretty cool. That, that's absolutely pretty cool that we got that. So I'm, I'm super excited. All right. So, uh, yeah, you guys can see we got the streak bonus. Pandanoko, that's exactly how you get him. Now, now here's the thing, right? I told you guys earlier we're going to turn him into a soul. And we're going to do it for science, right? Uh, we leveled him up to 99 just to turn him into a soul, huh? Okay. Okay. Oh my gosh, this is like so nerve-wracking, uh, man. Anyway, so let's do this. We are going to remove him. And then of course, you don't have to save. You don't have to save at all. All right, so I'm just gonna make uh, Shmoopy my leader, sure. So I took him off my uh, reserve teams. Let's go on over to our buddy over at the Solstery area, and I will show you guys exactly what happens when you turn him into a soul. Pandanoko soul, right? Uh, let's see. For Pandanoko, I'll just go this way. Okay, here we go. Pandanoko, <laughs> are you sure? It should be like, are you really sure? Are you absolutely a hundred percent sure? Should, you should go through like three hoops that you should jump through. But anyway, Pandanoko soul for science. Okay, Pandanoko soul. Uh, so let's take a look. Let's take a look at Pandanoko soul. Winona soul, Pananoko soul. Positive in spirit effects last longer on self. That's really bad. <laughs> oh my gosh. You would think that Pananoko soul would be the best in the game, right? Because it's so rare that you'll ever find one. Positive in spirits last longer on self. You're never gonna use that. But, but ladies and gentlemen, I'll tell you what you are gonna use. I'll give you guys some really, really top secret soul story that you guys saw here first, all right? So let's do this. Uh, I'm not gonna go by level. I'm gonna go by like um, name. So, if you guys are lucky enough to have Pandanoko and Herchin. Pandanoko and Herchin. Here we go. Check this out. You guys are lucky to have these two. Okay, the Herchin soul slightly increases the power of crits. Alright, that's cool. But, Herchin plus Pandanoko soul equals question mark. This is a special combination that'll absorb the base soul. Is that okay? Yeah, actually, let, let's put Pananoko first, just in case. Not like it matters, but we're gonna do it anyway. Here we go, ladies and gents, the top secret soul story used with Pandanoko. The Summoner Soul. We got it. Oh my gosh, the Summoner Soul. The rarest, the rarest yokai soul. There we go. That's exactly the one that we wanted right there. G orbs appear more often. All right. So if you're in ultra battles, dude, if you're in ultra battles against Hinozal, against Cat Cradle, dude, you guys know that when an ultra orb, orb comes, dude, your DPS is going straight for that and you're going to get it and you're going to do so much more damage to help out and all of your stats are going to be super boosted. Have this. 
paired with Pandanoko's ability? Oh my gosh, if you had two Pandanoko. Wow, that would be insane. All right, so ladies and gentlemen, you guys, uh, you guys know everything about the uh, the stats of Pandanoko. We showed you guys Pandanoko in battle. We showed you guys which uh, popularity could help you out. We showed you guys the different befriending auras that you can use. Uh, we showed you guys what a, a Wayfarer battle is. We did sorcery, and of course, we showed you guys the top secret soul recipe for the Summoner Soul, which includes a Pandanoko. Seven things in the video. Wow, super cool. All right, let's talk about this giveaway, yeah. So when you do get a Pandanoko, guys, he's gonna be he's gonna be like highly sought after, right? Oh my gosh, everyone's gonna be like, "Yo, touch trade me that." But then at the same time, I would really suggest that when you're touch trading Pandanoko, just take extreme caution because if you're gonna be touch trading with some strangers that you don't know and you're like, "Oh, that person's got Komasan S and I don't have him and it's an exclusive," you know what I mean? Some people may be not as trustworthy, so be very very careful about that. Wandering yokai from a faraway land, he's tough to find and a miracle to actually befriend. Ooh boy, that's for science. Okay, so be very, very wary about who you touch trade your Pandanoko with. I don't wanna hear any, hey, you know, this person took my Pandanoko, Abdallah, do something. No, dude, trade at your own risk. I'm not gonna be live streaming and giving this to everyone. I won't be. I will be giving this to friends that like are on my Discord, friends that like actually help me out, active subscribers, people in my community that I know I can trust. So we'll be absolutely doing that. But I will be doing a giveaway. All right, so check this out. Head on over, right over here, answer the comment question today. What would you do if you got a Pandanoko? Give me like some crazy outlandish like answers. Oh, Abdallah, I'd do a backflip and then I'd record it and I'd tweet it at you. You know, something like that. Give me some fun kind of creative answers. And uh, the most creative of the comments, I'll respond to your comment and I'll say, hey, come meet me on my next live stream and I'll touch uh, trade you a Pandanoko. That way that you guys can look forward to the live streams, see who's gonna get it, who's gonna win. And then of course you guys will absolutely touch trade it and touch trade it back, please. <laughs> anyway, that's gonna be it. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Pandanoko is like history. We've gotten Pandanoko in every single Yokai Watch game. It's been a great time. So thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure that you guys all hit that subscribe button to be updated on the latest and greatest Yokai Watch content. And of course, turn on notifications. Maybe uh, check out one of these awesome Eat Sleep Yokai Repeat shirts right up above here. And on screen, there's gonna be even more Yokai Watch playlists. Have a great day, and I'm looking forward to reading all of your fun comments. Have oh man. Dude, what would you do? What would you do if you got a Pananoko? Let me know. I'll see you in the next one. Take care.